Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to the Space City Rottweilers podcast. I am your host, Mr. C-O-R-E-Y, and I have two of my favorite people in the whole wide world here with me. What up, y'all? This your girl, Meg, back again. What up, y'all? This your boy, Jern, back in the building. And Space City Rottweilers podcast is in full effect. What up with y'all? How's it going, man? Chilling. It's kind of cool. It's three of us today. Yeah, Yeah. man. Migo. Yeah, (laughs) three amigos. Yeah, man. How how y'all been feeling, man? How how have y'all been getting through this corona experience? Lots of video games and lots of music. Prayer. (laughs) That too. just chilling. Yeah. Social media. Enjoying enjoying quality family time. Yeah, yeah. Man, there ain't been no family time going on, boy. We've been quarantining. <laughs> yeah. But, but he been with his, like... Oh, yeah. This is true. Family. Yeah. 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 You've been at your house. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't I know where we're here in back to the house. When I think of family time, I'm thinking of all of us, like a family reunion type thing. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, but it's, it's, it, it's definitely been up and down, man. Probably, you know, every all y'all going through the same thing, all my listeners. Um, Just the know. uncertainty of what's going on right we just you know we pray that everybody's safe y'all be safe y'all be smart um you know wash your hands social distance social distance six feet six feet stop taking all the toilet paper yeah ain't no need for all that you know if you run out of toilet paper just take it doggy style and just get in the shower (laughs) (laughs) nah but um yeah it's been okay um i guess um ready for this to kind of be over with man but um you know today is a good day well this week is a good week because guess what y'all the what? puppies made eight weeks years old eight well, weeks what? not Second years later eight weeks yeah and you know this is the week that they can start going home to their new homes been getting a lot of inquiries this is, this is a good thing that's exciting it's very exciting uh this this process kind of went by fast. Yeah, fast yeah man it's and to think eight weeks ago we had no idea this corona thing and right you know, now right, look at right. where, where we are yeah the, the the corona thing kind of been putting a little damper on everything that's going on with us um it stopped the progress on you know the property that we acquired doggy heaven uh not heaven but more like sanctuary uh, yeah there you go uh sanctuary yeah but um Found out the people doing the work, they are considered a essential worker. So back to work they go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like I like making progress, man. I'm ready for the for the hounds to get the you know, sh- stretching their limbs a little bit more. They gonna have way more playing space. You know? not gonna want to do. Right. Especially like stuff like with this pandemic, they can move around a little bit more, you know. Get a little bit more freedom. Yeah, man. Cause uh, you know these Rottweilers, they they need a lot of working to do. You gotta let them tire themselves. Out. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Yo, you took the words right out of my mouth. Pause. Um, you just really just you know gotta work them. Cause if you don't, psh, they have so much high energy, they get to tearing up your stuff, chewing up on stuff, digging. digging. <laughs> if you got digging problems with your dogs, yeah, you might want to take a little bit more extra laps around the block, or you know find something for them to do. You know, uh, stimulate their mind. Not just, you know, physically, but, you know, the, the mental things. Uh, hint, hint uh, that you can take with you. Chew toys is a good thing. Get one of them, those thick chew bones. And, you know, let that's a good it. mental stimulation. Uh, you know, some people take it a step further and make, let their dogs solve puzzles and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got to that point. I don't no, know if we ever going to do that. We don't want no Einstein dog. <laughs> they are they already kind of smart for me enough. Man. They, they already kind of do some crazy man, things. Man, man, man. <laughs> do you imagine? Yeah. They think they smart. They try to outsmart me, but guess what? I fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's up with you, Meg? You over there quiet. Oh, I was waiting so I could ask a question. Y'all was kind of going back and forth. <laughs> Marco, what's up? Well, I was going to ask, like, would you, what do you tell people who have pets well, dogs during this quarantine situation, what should they do? Um, walk your dog, but just stay six feet away from other people and other dogs, I guess, because um, they pick I, up off your energy too and your vibe. I don't know if people know this, but there have been cases of dogs catching corona. How? I Did mean, they say how they're catching it? I I didn't really do any research on it, but 
Um, you know, I believe this started from an animal, uh, the, the whole coronavirus. Hmm. So, I mean, dogs can catch things that we catch. Uh, you know, dogs get cancer, arthritis, all this other stuff. So just got to be careful. Um, just like you want to stay on top of your health, stay on top of your dog's health. Um, you got to take care of our furry friends. Yeah. Uh, for all you folks that, you know, have furry friends and, you know, animals, they're probably bored just as as much as you're bored. So, you know, if you're able to walk around your neighborhood or, you know, go to the park, because I think you're still allowed to go to the park, you know, stretch your legs and take your um, your man's best friend with you. And, you know, they enjoy some quality time. Right. I'm pretty sure they, you know, they'll be excited. They're part of the family, too. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to, you know, a little exercise. But, yeah, I mean, we're not on a mandatory lockdown. I think they call it what a stay at home. Self, mm -hmm. Stay self, at home order. Yeah. yeah, stay at home order. But, you know, we it's still, just smart to stay home. We still have the freedom to move around. But it's just not the best idea to do that right now. Yeah. But. Yeah. Just be smart, man. Uh, this this thing is kind of confusing. I mean, because you you hear so many different things in different you know? timetables to as to when this all this stuff is going to be over, or when in, when we could possibly be moving on to something else. I honestly don't think it's going to be over in two weeks. They nah. keep saying two weeks, but I don't think it's going to be two weeks. Yeah, I think we got some time in the house still. Yeah, so y'all get comfortable because uh, <laughs> this is only the beginning. But. I saw somebody say um, this whole situation is making them realize they don't have enough lounge clothes. <laughs> the, yeah, uh, at home clothes. Uh, again, you can go uh, doggy style and just <laughs> walk around and let it no. hang, let it hang out. If it's just you in the house, no people go to Walmart <laughs> get you some clothes. <laughs> right. But also, let me just add a little plug in. If you're lonely in the time of self quarantine. We do still have puppies available to be reserved. <laughs> so you won't be by yourself. If you're right? interested, call us at 281-299-8998. Or you can follow us on Instagram at space underscore city underscore Rottweilers. Uh, fi find us on Facebook at space city Rottweilers. Uh, email address is space city Rottweilers 18 at gmail.com. You don't have to spend you know, all your days time. alone. Space City Rottweiler. Bring a Space 18. City Rottweiler to your new home. Or to your home. Space or to City, their Space new City. home. Just have to add that in there. But, um, yeah. So, what's up, y'all? Man, just, I hope everybody just out there, you just, if you're listening, just stay sane and know, even though it might look a little rough now, it might be, you got to take every day, one day at a time, and take the good things just, I don't know, hug on your furry friends and tell them you love them. Yeah, it'll get better. It'll get better. Man, let me ask the both of y'all, whoever wants to go first, uh, y'all figure Ladies it out. first. Um, <laughs> oh, what a gentleman. Um, Always. Y'all both experienced the first litter mm -hmm. to a certain extent, and y'all been around since the beginning of, of this litter. Mm -hmm. What have you all uh, witnessed or seen during this process? Like, as in what? Like, what's the difference? Uh, the difference? I mean, whatever. whatever. Like, what do you remember from the first one? Uh, what's, you know, can you compare what went down the first time and this time? Anything different? You, you notice anything? First anything, um. anything any, <laughs> any drastic changes? Well, I can tell you, I can notice the difference between the, the two females from Nala, the first one, and then Chanel, yeah. the second one. What you mean? Like, Chanel is more, um, I feel like she was more nurturing. I feel like Nala wasn't as nurturing as Chanel. She's still a good mom, but. No, she was. I'm not about to yeah, play. I ain't going to downplay her. Yeah. But Chanel, Chanel was, was a little, <laughs> yeah, she was a little more on it. Yeah. She was a little more on point. You were yeah. a little more calmer. I, yeah, I think that's probably what it was with with Nala. It it was everybody's first time, New so beginnings. I was anxious and stressed, and you know they pick up on that. So she probably was trying to figure out what what was going on. Oh, Second true. time around, I didn't though. think about that. Yeah. Second time around, though, it was a breeze. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I, I don't want to say it well, was a breeze. I was a little bit more comfortable. You yeah, know? yeah, I can. She was I can labor. tell that you were yeah. way more comfortable this time. When she was in labor, that was the uh, part that wasn't a breeze, but. Everything yeah. else was. I think it, we was better prepared too, because with with Nala, you know, 
I made plans. And, you know, sometimes when you make plans, they don't always go to, it don't go right. as planned. Yeah. You right. know, I was expecting her to deliver on the weekend, but she decided decided to deliver in the middle of the week. Four so in the morning. It, right. Three in I don't want to say it was doomed from the beginning, but it was, you know, kind of everywhere from the beginning. And, you know, that you don't want to stress them out or, you know, like, or, you know, had them all yeah. up and down. But um, Chanel was what at the be- in the middle of the day, because we was we just yeah, all happened to be at the house. The the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. It started started what late afternoon and then went into the night. Yeah, we all just happened to be at the house and yeah. It, when it was time, it was definitely time listening to the baby monitor. Mm, yeah. yeah, it was really just like okay. When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? And I just happened to walk in there. It's like, I don't see any puppies in here. And then and she moved a little bit. I was like, oh, puppies. But before that, I, I, you know, I had, my, I had my ears glued to the monitor. Then, I, you know, I heard heard something different. I say, hey, yo, Jern. Hey, man. I need you to go check the shit. <laughs> hey, I don't see no puppies in here. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, oh it's, it's two of them here. <laughs> but, you know, they pretty much do all the work. You just really sit back and monitor, but make them comfortable as possible. Yeah, yeah it was cool though. It was, it definitely was cool. Um, you know, my vet told me fifteen puppies, so I was expecting fifteen puppies. So it 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 was over way before we thought it was. But you know, I'm just getting with, a little bit with, with me thinking fifteen puppies, she stopped at ten, so we had to. You know, take it to the vet. I don't know if we told this story, but I mean, sorry for those if if it's your first time tuning in. Yeah, if this your it. first time, welcome. If, if if this is not your first time, you're gonna hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it gets better every time we tell it. Yeah, <laughs> man. So we took it to the to the emergency vet because it was after hours. And, you know, they did the X rays and no more puppies after ten. So you know, we was able to breathe. Yeah. But, you know, before that, it was a a really Ner- a nerve wracking experience because you didn't want you didn't want her to be hurt or anything or for something to be wrong because you know right. things things happen but right. thank God she was fine. You know, y'all, do y'all people. remember how small they started off? It's crazy. Yeah, they those, were. Yeah, those puppies are big now. Like they eight weeks. I used to be able to fit them in my hand. I feel like these are bigger than. I Nyla. definitely, I definitely feel like they're bigger than Nala's in yeah. size. And I feel like they grew faster too. Way faster. And you know, you know why? Why? Bloodline. Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like they look like like a real young puppies, but they kind of got some size to them. Mm-hmm. I feel like Nala's crew was a was a little bit still looking like a puppy. Mm-hmm. They still have some big ones in that one, but this, yeah, 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 but this, this one this, is more. Yeah, like Bruno almost Ch- all of them. Br- yeah. Bruno and Chanel. Yeah, they. There's some massive dogs, man. Um. And in no way, form, or fashion are we, uh, I don't want to say a bad word. Um, what's a, what's another word? Uh, we not downplaying Nala, y'all. It's just um, her bloodline is different from Bruno and Chanel bloodline. Everybody's different. But mm-hmm. all my bloodline is good. So don't you ever think you're going to, uh, you know, get any any not great work from space city raw wallace yeah i'm not we're not saying they were smaller inside like they're actually like small they're, they're still big puppies but mm-hmm. but check this out when they start off as puppies and all that it don't really matter because some puppies go through a ugly stage and then they blossom into this massive thing because i've seen pictures of of uh some of my past clients that share pictures and man unrecognizable some dogs is massive man uh, shout out to all my past clients. You tuning in? We appreciate y'all still. Nah, not even for tuning in. Thank y'all for you know being a part of this experience, and you know my first litter. It's my inaugural litter, so it's always gonna hold a special place in my heart. Um, but yeah, these puppies. Oh man, I you know I I don't keep them separated per se, but you know I try to keep up with my males and my females. But I, you know, I let them, you know, have a little playtime in the yard, man. I don't know what's up with my males. They don't, like, they'll come play with me. But, you know, they, you know, boys, they always want to get into trouble. <laughs> but my girls, my females, oh, man, they, I feel like um, 
Mother Goose. Like they follow me all around where I go, biting in my ankles. Play, play with me, play with me, play with me. And you know, <laughs> you know, girls, they always want to see what you're doing. Shout out to all my ladies. <laughs>